Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am finally doing my long-awaited Q&A video for in regards to the giveaway winner I'm going to leave the giveaway winner in the description box below I've already reached out to the giveaway winner emailing them letting them know that they won and then they have so many hours to contact me um, So that I can go ahead and send them their Sephora gift card so, like I said, the giveaway winner will be in the description box below, so just check that. So, I want to go ahead and get started in this Q&A video. I am going to be reading the questions from my phone. So, I have about 69 comments to get through, so let's do this. Okay, the first question comes from Kathleen Rose. She said, yes, girl, congrats on 1,000. Thank you. And she said, if you could travel anywhere in Europe, where would it be and why? I would definitely say I would travel to Italy just because um, my dad and his family are from Sicily and my mom's family is Italian. Um, so it would just be really nice to see my culture and just kind of like see where my dad grew up and stuff like that. Um, I think that would be really, really interesting. So definitely Italy would be on my list in Europe. Question number two is from Mari Michael and it says, when is your birthday and congrats on 1K? Thank you so much. My birthday is April 29th and I am 22 years old. The next question is from Peyton Lewis and she asked, yes girl, congrats. Thank you. And what are your mo what what are you most excited for about college? Such an exciting time. So with that being said, I've been in college now for about four years. Um, I've taken like a some like a year off basically. Um, and as you guys know, I was talking about previously in my other video that I might was supposed to transfer and go to school in Florida, but a lot of the financial aid issues started coming up and then the um, scholarship, just like things weren't like not adding up. There was things that were did on the scholarship was like a little messed up and like miscommunication from me and the school. So it didn't end up working out because I've already would have started there. Um, but I have been in college now. I go to community college and I'm just going to be finishing out my degree at the community college. So what am I excited about for college? I just want to finish my degree. Um, yeah. The next question comes from Taylor Shandler and she said dream holiday. So I know that holiday in like the UK and stuff um, is like vacation. My dream vacation would probably to go to Turks and Caicos. Um, anywhere in the Caribbean basically because I really want to go there. Next question is from Isha Nolam and she said what's your top three outfit makeup icons? Um, definitely I would say I really really like Demi Lovato's style. She wears a lot of black and that's like my thing. I love to wear black hence I'm always wearing black. Um, and I would say basically her um, definitely the Kardashians have a lot of influence and things that I like. Um, I think they have really nice style and I really like how they dress. Um, they kind of stick to basic pieces but they make the basic pieces like really stand out and stuff. So I kind of like them. Um, yeah, basically them. Question is from Elisa Rivera and congrats girl you deserve it. What is your favorite song? Thank you. And my favorite song, I don't really have a favorite song. I have too many songs that I just love and become obsessed with so I probably don't have a specific favorite song. It comes from Marlon Olmos and she said congrats on the subs I love your bag thank you darling and she said if you could do anything in the world right now what would you be doing? Um, if I could do anything in the world I'd probably be traveling because I love going to new places and experiencing new things seeing the way different people like live around even America and even out of side of the states so definitely traveling the next question comes from Natalia font and she asked my question is my question is if you have any advice for high school I love you love you too and my advice for high school is just to kind of enjoy it don't take it too seriously I think a lot of people put a lot of pressure that high school is going to be the best years of your life and nine times out of ten it's not um, so I think just go into it with an open mind and you know get um, join groups join clubs and organizations sports try out for new things because um, you never know what you might like um, so that would definitely be my recommendation or advice for high school is just to be involved in your school and hang out with a bunch of people, meet all kinds of different groups of people, and that's my advice for you. The next question is from Megan Faye. Faye? I'm going to say it's Faye. 
Um, I noticed her comment. She always is commenting and supporting me on my videos. She's been a long time subscriber. So hello girl. And she said congrats on a thousand subs. Thank you. She said, what is your favorite thing to do over the summer in Chicago? So sadly, summer is coming to an end, which makes me very sad because I hate the cold. But if you guys don't know, I live in Chicago and um, my favorite thing to do here is definitely in the summertime, go to the beaches and um, just be by the lake because the water is just so nice. And it is cold in the beginning of the summer, but as you get to like June, July-ish, it gets a lot warmer. So definitely that's been like my new thing is just going to the beaches. And one of my friends recently, their family just got a boat, so we went on the boat a few times, and that's a lot of fun just to like be on Lake Michigan. So definitely doing stuff like that, um, just enjoying the weather that we have because we don't have it for very long. Um, the next question comes from one of my really, really good friends on here, Marcella, and she said congrats on 1K. Thank you, darling. And she has two questions for me. She's so, so nice, you guys. I'll leave her channel below because she is a gem. I love her to death, but... She said, what are some of your favorite movies that you can watch over and over again? Some of my favorite movies that I can watch over and over again are definitely Wizard of Oz has to be one because it's like my childhood go-to movie. Um, definitely The Little Mermaid, stuff like that. Um, definitely another childhood favorite. And then um, The Wedding Singer, no, not The Wedding Singer. Wedding Date with Dermot Mulroney and Deborah Messing. That is like one of my favorite, favorite movies and I've watched it a bajillion times. And I would say like The Grinch, How the Grinch Sold Christmas at Christmas time. And then all of your basic Halloween movies like Hocus Pocus and Halloween Town, Twitches, all that stuff. Um, and Halloween's coming up. I can't wait. I can watch all my favorite Halloween movies. Um, so definitely that. And question number two is how long does it take you to get ready full face glam with lashes? Full face glam with lashes, I would say 45 minutes. And I've tried to like get it down shorter than that, but 45 minutes seems to be the winning factor here. So, yes. Next question is Anna Von Braley. She said, when did you, why did you start making YouTube videos? I started making YouTube videos because I always got a lot of questions and compliments on my makeup or just questions on what makeup products I'd recommend and um, my cousin recently moved to like South Korea at the time, this was about a few years ago and she was like how do you curl your hair, like how do you do that, I'm like I could just make a video and upload it to YouTube, I've always wanted to do YouTube and um, that's basically why I started it because I think it's a lot of fun and it's just like a way for me to get my little tips and tricks out that I have for makeup so yeah next question comes from Emily Mumford and she says if you can only use three makeup products on your face for a whole week what would they be I love your videos and congrats thank you so much for watching and um, three makeup products for a whole week um, mascara uh, brows and probably like a BB cream okay um, Question, next question is from Alejandra Belderama and she said, what is your favorite lipstick, liquid lipstick, and lip gloss? My favorite liquid lipstick is, I haven't tried many, but I really like the NYX lingerie ones. I have one on right now in the shade Exotic. So those I really like for liquid lipstick. For lipstick, I like any MAC lipstick. I think they last really long. Some of my favorites from MAC are definitely Diva and, um, what is the other one? Angel or something like that? I think that's what it's called. And my favorite lip gloss. I'm not really picky with lip gloss. I can just kind of like pick whatever is out there. I know MAC has some really good ones. Um, any lip gloss really. This question is from Candice Rivera and she asked, what is your favorite makeup brand? My favorite makeup brand is probably, I really, really like NYX. I think they have a lot of great products and they're fairly inexpensive. So definitely I would say NYX um, is definitely my favorite. Okay, Jessica Mitchell said, if you can only use one eyeshadow palette for the rest of your life, which one would you choose? I'd probably choose my Naked palette, which is the original Naked palette. I find myself reaching for that one the most out of all the Naked palettes, um, so definitely that one. The next question is from Jolene Johnson, and she said, congrats on a thousand. That's awesome and totally goals for me. I hope you reach your goal. Um, her question is, what is... What's the one product or two, because makeup, true, at the top of your makeup wish list right now? Um, right now, 
One is the MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre. I've been wanting to get that and haven't. And two would definitely be Jeffree Star's Liquid Lipstick and Unicorn Blood. That one's like my favorite, favorite color in his collection. So definitely those two right now. It's from Brittany Adams. Um, she says, have you ever had a paranormal, a paranormal experience? Yes, I have. Um, it's kind of like a really short thing. Um, one day I was in my computer room, my dad's office, and I was like, back in the day in my space days, I was like, I'm going to take a selfie. And I like turned my back on the computer and I went to take a selfie. And then there was like a image of a face on the computer screen. Like I had nothing up. It was just like the desktop background. And when I took the picture with the flash, there was like a face in the background. So um, I couldn't tell if it was a woman or a man, but it was definitely like a face and it was really, really creepy. So that was like my first paranormal experience. Um, and then her next question is, who's her favorite YouTuber? My favorite YouTuber would have to be probably Carly Bible. Um, she's like my favorite, favorite YouTuber. I've watched her for so, so long and I'm like, just, I admire her. She is so gorgeous and I just love her makeup that she does and her style. I love her like personality and just who, like who she is. So definitely Carly Bible. Brittany O's question is, what's your favorite number? I would say number 29. Um, it doesn't really have any significance other than the fact that my birthday is on April 29th, but next question is from my cousin Amanda. So hello Amanda, thank you for watching, love you. And she said, what is your go-to places to shop? I kind of answered this, uh, Forever 21, Charlotte Russe, H&M, and Boohoo Plus has been like my place. That is those mostly I always go to Forever 21, especially for those basics. And then she said, if you can only use one high-end makeup product for the rest of your life, what would it be? I would definitely use mascara, um, Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara for the rest of my life because that is like the best mascara. So definitely that. This question comes from UFWSJ and she said, do you have any siblings? Yes, I do. I have one younger brother and he's going to be 20 on Monday. He's not going to be a teenager anymore. So weird. And her next question is, she has a bunch of questions actually. When did you start getting into makeup? I started getting into makeup like 8th grade. Um, not that I was good at it, but that's when I started to like really look into it. Um, how did you start getting into YouTubing? I've been watching YouTube for so long. I've been watching it back since 8th grade is when it all started. So I knew that I wanted to make content on my own. I never really wanted to do it in high school because I was kind of afraid of like getting made fun of and stuff since it was like new. Not a lot of people were doing it. Um, so, and I, after I graduated high school, a few months after college started, I made my YouTube channel. And Next question comes from Jasmine Marquis and she asked favorite show to binge watch. Definitely 1,000 and a trillion million percent One Tree Hill. I binge watch that so bad. Like, that's my favorite. And she also asked, have you seen Game of Thrones? I have not, but I've heard good things about it. Next question comes from Ashley Hernandez. And what is your happiest memory? Happiest memory would probably be any Nick Jonas concert that I've ever gone to. Because he's bae. And actually, today's his birthday. September 16th. Woo -woo. Um, next question is Anna Denny and she asked, what is your favorite sport? Definitely baseball. Go Cubs go. Next question is comes from Jay Chaslin Tolentino and she said, how do you make your hair so wavy? I just used the Remington one and a half inch curling wand and I got it at Target and that's how I did my waves today. Girl asked, what designer handbag do you like? My top of the list go-to bag that I really want in my collection is this Louis Vuitton Speedy 30, the Demir Ben pattern, I think that's how you say it, with the bandolier. That is my number one on the list of a bag that I want. And then a second bag that I like is the Givenchy and Tigana bag in the medium size, I think that's how you say it. And then um, I also like the Celine bags, so those three are definitely my favorite. Um, and I do love Chanel as well, but that's like whenever I'm a millionaire. <laughs> um, Carrie Courtney said, congrats on 1,000, thank you. And she said, what are your three daily must-haves you can't live without? Mine would definitely be my cell phone, 
probably my dog and coffee. Those are all the questions that you guys asked me for this Q&A video. If you have any more questions you want me to answer, leave them in the comments below and I will respond to all the comments. And um, yeah, you guys can ask me anything and I'll respond down there. I um, wanted to say thank you to everyone who entered, thank you to everyone who's subscribing, and hello to my new subscribers. And um, yeah, I think that is basically it. As always, leave me a request for future videos that you would like to see next on my channel. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I will see all of your beautiful faces in my next video.